guys flipping landlord ninja here gavin the property prince and we are two, two guys, guys take on real estate. estate look we set up this youtube channel so we could pay it forward with all of our experience to anybody that's interested in real estate whether it's just getting started or already developing your portfolio so you can <laughs> hopefully avoid some of the mistakes we've made over the years and boy there's been and a lot yeah so uh, we hope you find this entertaining. We hope you find this educational. And we hope you share, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, make some comments, whatever that you can do to help us get exposure to more and more people so we can help as many people as possible. Exactly. Speaking of mistakes, I think today we have a little topic about three mistakes uh, that you have with making your maintenance reporting. Yeah, I guarantee every one of you out there is doing at least one of these mistakes. So these are three mistakes you're doing wrong when it comes to maintenance reporting. So please stay to the end so you get all the mistakes and you can uh, hopefully not make the same we did. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can click while we're talking. It's <laughs> fine. Go ahead and do it right now. No, we'll we'll wait for you. No. <laughs> oh, we're going to wait. They're not moving their mouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So let's talk about the first one. Sure. First part, simple thing. Number one is just having a system. Yeah. I mean, it sounds pretty freaking obvious, but believe it or not, not everybody does. So when a tenant has an issue in their home, whether it's a big problem or a small problem, they need a way to communicate that to their landlord. Exactly. And often I think most people just kind of wing it and they're just kind of, oh yeah, you know, call me here, do that there. Have a system, have a funnel where everything goes to one direction, ideally in writing. I think that's what we really prefer. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. I mean, whatever works for you, you just need to have a consistent process that right. you can then convey to the tenant what they don't like and what will absolutely frustrate your tenant and take a small problem and exacerbate it through the roof is if there's a lot of consistency and they just don't know what's expected of them. And take the time to actually write this system down. And at your yeah. when you're doing a lease signing, this is when you can explain it to them. So you set up expectations right from the back and this way you don't have any uh, misunderstandings going you know, I forward. I can't agree more how important it is to have an orientation process at your lease signing basically communicating to the tenants that they have a lot of responsibilities. They have two main responsibilities. One, the all important one, pay you, right? That's one of their main responsibilities. The other one is reporting issues properly so you can resolve them. And then you lay out how they're supposed to do that. Just like you would lay out how you're supposed to pay. Correct. So same, I think. Yeah. And we'll, we'll, we'll go into further detail in another video about how we uh, put a system together for ours. Uh, but I'd like to kind of keep going. Uh, so yeah, let's go to the next one. Sure. So number two would be not having a 24 hour answering service. Yeah, I mean, emergencies don't wait till you're just available to you know, utilize your process. Um, what kind of emergencies have we had that happened at all hours of the day? Oh, well, the one you hear about all the time, the clogged toilet, ooh, the, or the trip <laughs> breaker. The trip breaker, those, I don't think those are emergencies. I agree, and we've talked about that on other channels, but uh, we also have uh, leaks, I mean, uh, sure. fire. Okay. Fire, Ooh. flooding, uh, burst pipes is a uh, you know huge one as we get into winter times. Yep. Uh, you know, no heat, heat. heating systems, yeah. of course, failing. They never fail when it's June because you're not using them. They don't fail at noon on a Tuesday. They fail at you know 3 a.m. on a Saturday. This is true. Uh, so you need to have an emergency way to be contacted and notified of these issues. Um, it's absolutely incredibly important. Yes, and there's uh, a lot of stuff with the internet that you can, for very little money, you can find uh, bilingual uh, services that are cheap, yes. that will save you a lot of time, and then forward it to your cell phone or whatever system that you have, it can kind of integrate. Right, this is not something that you have to be a big boy to afford. You don't have nope. to have a thousand units. You can be a, a two-family homeowner. You could be an owner-occupied three-family landlord sure. and still have this process set up. And it's very affordable. Everybody should have it. Don't make any excuses. You need to be able to be reached 24-7 to handle emergencies. How long does it take you to, re to resolve an emergency? And what's the longest acceptable amount of time? Well, in Massachusetts, uh, no longer than 24 hours. No longer than 24 hours. So if you're waiting 12 hours to even get the message about it, you're already behind the, you know, the eight ball. Line. Exactly. And honestly, I mean, I think most tenants expect much faster. Uh, I would say an hour they're almost you know. and you know yeah you're the property owner right so i mean if, if this is something that the emergency is something that's going to be creating property damage right. more and more by the minute and by the hour and it's in your own best interest to take care of it timely you're the one that's going to lose if you drag your feet or you don't have this process exactly so all right let's move on okay <laughs> wow all right so number three is actually funneling everything back to your system this is this is tough you know why this is tough this is actually tough not for the tenant 
This is tough for you, the owner. Well, because you, it's a habit. You can get out of a, a bad habit. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it's it's incredibly, it's a self-disciplined thing. And, and, you know, and hear me out on this. What is and going to end up happening is somebody's going to tell you about something. You're going to have somebody that doesn't follow your process and they're going to report something. And the natural instinct is to be like, okay, well, yeah, no problem. I'll take care of it. I'll come over, whatever yeah. it might be. Yeah. And then you, maybe you jot it down or maybe you don't. And I'll, I'll, just, I'll remember it. And then yeah. you get back to your office, you get back to your home, wherever it might be, the car, and you forgot. Or you remember half of it and Absolutely. it's just, it gets lost. Absolutely. And it doesn't mean you're irresponsible or that you're a jerk and you just don't want to fix things, et cetera. But the tenant will feel that they communicated this issue to you, right. to you properly because you received it. And then you did nothing about it, which to them is is you being a responsible, bad landlord. It's also about properly training either your maintenance staff, if you have maintenance staff, or your subcontractors you work with, the plumber, the electrician. Make sure they understand if they're reporting something other than the issue that they're there to resolve, that they need to be funneled back also to your system. Whatever it might be, maybe calling out 800 number, going online to a website and submitting a ticket. There's many different options. Whatever your system is, funnel them back there constantly. Yep. If you got a maintenance guy or a bunch of maintenance guys and you know, it's going to happen, right? They're going to be in the hallway going to an apartment to service a work order somewhere and a neighbor is going to pop out of their apartment and say, oh, hey, you know, Joe, while you're here, can you please do this? Or can you let the office know that? They have to absolutely know how to handle those things and they have to handle them the same way every time because you need to be able to consistently right. respond back and operate knowing that everybody's following their same marching order. So it could be something like you said, as simple as saying, listen, thanks so much for reporting this. Thank you. want to take care of anything wrong in your homes. You just need to provide, you know, the, the report properly. Please use X, Y, Z process that you've all agreed on. Correct. And, uh, it, you know, acknowledge a complaint, thank them for bringing it to their attention and then it require them to follow the process that they already know they should have been following. Exactly. So once again, I just want to recap. So we have one, creating a system. Mm. Two, having a 24-hour answering service. Yeah, no excuse not to, guys. And then three, funneling everything back to number one, the system. Absolutely. I have people <clears> that come to our rental office. They want to uh, file a report uh, and tell me in person while they're paying the rent about their problems. I say, thanks very much. We appreciate that here. Please take a minute and go through our process. <laughs> it's, it's easier than you'd think. You just have to get into these habits. Correct. So we hope this uh, this helps. We hope this avoids some confusion because what ends up happening when you don't have uh, all these things going? Well, then you get back in court and things didn't get done. Now they're not paying the rent, whatever that might be. I, mean, yeah, I, told, you, I told you six months ago, this wasn't fixed. That wasn't yep. fixed. Uh, these things will help you immensely avoid those kind of frustrations. So hope this was helpful. Uh, please, once again, hit that subscribe button and the like button. And uh, will any comments you have or any questions or tell us about what systems you guys have. Yeah, absolutely. Tell us how wrong we are about uh, some of our thoughts here. But seriously, subscribe and share. Let us get, uh, get out there to more and more real estate investors. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Take care.